What's up guys? Today we are here to talk about backhand approaches. So approaches are shots that are thrown towards the basket after a tee shot. Approaches can be made with any disc from any distance. To learn basic approaches, we will use putters to learn angles and distances before bumping up speeds of discs. I personally love my DX putt and approach AVR for dead straight shots and my P2s for something with a little bit of fade. So you have to be mindful of the difference between your putting putters versus your throwing putters. The reason I say that is if a putter is being used for both putting and approaching, this wears the life of the disc down faster and it could lead to potential accuracy issues. Putters are very easily manipulated and therefore they're super touchy. Putters differ from drivers in terms of releasing the disc because the putters will require a lot more height than your driver when you're throwing them, depending on how far you're trying to throw. Finding the comfort zone of a distance a putter can be thrown is super critical. This is the first step in learning the flight pattern of your discs. Discs can be thrown standing still or with a run up or a step up. When throwing stands still, up until a certain distance, it is possible to throw the disc without ever taking your eye off of the target, like this. Once you start hitting that certain distance, whatever that is for you, then more power is gonna be necessary and that causes you to have to take your eye off of the, the target for a second. All power when throwing is generated from the ground up and this is where it's good practice to learn the amount of weight that is being shifted to be able to throw the, the distance that you need to go for specific approach shots. So what I recommend is that you practice approaches from about 100 feet without taking your eye off of the target and learn how far away from the target you can go without having to turn your head back. What I mean by that is it's kind of like a longer, um, longer putt. So without taking my eye off the target, I'm gonna come out this way and my weight is shifting from left to right. Now, when you start getting farther away, I'll have to kind of take my eye off of the target so I can get a bigger reach back for more distance. So I think it's important that you learn how far you can throw the putter consistently in general to find your comfort zone. It's different for everyone. All we talked about are putters, but the same thing translates to any disc from any distance, mid ranges, drivers. What I showed you was an exercise for you to build knowledge of what you and the disc are capable of from a specific distance. Once you get this down, then I recommend that you bump up to your mid ranges. But starting with putters, it just helps you being able to manipulate angles, manipulate glide and height and learn all of those important things because it's slower and very easy for you know beginners or slower arms. Then once you learn how to do that, when you get to mid ranges, uh, mid ranges require a little bit more speed and a little bit more power. So that's why I think you should tone it down and start with putters first. And especially when you're in the woods, not taking your eye off the target from 100 feet becomes super helpful. So if you can go out and practice those, it's gonna be key in your disc golf success. So that's all I have for now for on approaches. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and we'll see you guys on the next one.